Modern Luxury and the new 7 Series. Please welcome member of the Board of Management of BMW EG for Sales and Marketing, Ian Robertson. Good evening again. I'd like to say I've just arrived from the airport in the back of a luxurious limousine with my feet up, but uh, I saw some of you upstairs before, so you know that's not true. Um, great pleasure to be here. Uh, this is the second uh, press launch, and I think it's very appropriate we're doing it here in New York City. Uh, after all, this is one of the world's metro cities. This type of product uh, is very much at home here. And of course, the United States uh, represents around about 20% of our worldwide volume for the 7 Series. And as I said to Ludwig earlier, maybe that could be a little bit higher with this generation. So he and the team are working on it. This is where you say, yes, Ludwig? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's a very important market for us. And we are sure that we will build on the success of our previous uh, generation. Now you just saw in the presentation and the slides that every generation of 7 Series has of course brought new technology, new innovation, which is not only for the BMW group, but also in many cases has been for the industry as a whole. Now whether it was ABS, whether it was the first moving maps in navigation, whether it was the first head-up display that came with the 7 Series. And as a result, this is our flagship. This is the vehicle that carries our latest innovations, our latest technology that ultimately will be spread through the whole of the BMW range of products in the following or subsequent years, and as I said, maybe into even other car companies later in the day. As such, we've invested very, very heavily with this generation, because the last generation has been the most successful ever. It's a sold approaching 370,000 vehicles, and the series is not quite completed yet. This generation, we've invested in new tech, new innovation, and, of course, many other features which our customers have been asking us to develop over the last few years. Now, every car launch is special. And as BMW, we do a lot of car launches, as you know. But the flagship, is the special one that really stands out. One thing that we have seen as a trend in the last couple of years is a strong push to more luxury and more comfort without, and I stress this, without moving away from, of course, what our DNA is all about, which is the ultimate driving machine. So what you will um, see in this car, and you'll get the, the opportunity to drive it tomorrow, is that everything you'd expect from a BMW is here, but the car has a lot more luxury fittings, and you'll hear about that from Kareem and from Paul a bit later. And also, there is a big step in the comfort, particularly in the rear of, uh, of this uh, particular vehicle. Individualization has also become much more important. So there is a whole host of new options, new features, new technique, and of course that individuality in terms of what people want to see in materials uh, that can be brought into the vehicle as well. At the same time, and today as we move in a world which has a number of regulatory challenges, and fuel economy is one of those, the car takes a big step forward in weight. Now, this car is around 290 pounds lighter spec for spec than its predecessor. Now that's the weight of a full adult and a whole boot of luggage. And you can imagine that makes a big difference. Now how have we achieved that? Well put simply, the technology we developed with the BMW i product, carbon fiber, and we're the world leader in this. We're the ones who have taken a product which was largely for small volume utilization and made it into high volume manufacturing. The carbon core of this vehicle allowed us to take that big step in weight reduction. And you'll 
hear more about where that sits, right through the sides, the roof, and the floor of this particular vehicle. And that, of course, makes the car more dynamic, makes the car more sporty, and makes it much more fuel efficient. And next year, we will bring a plug-in hybrid version, 740E, again, technology out of the iBrand, and we will move the benchmark even further for a car in this segment. This will be the benchmark in the segment for weight and performance. Now, connected drive is also another big step forward. As you know, we have invested heavily in this area over the last few years. We're leaders in many aspects of it. And connected drive takes a number of steps here towards autonomous driving. Now, particularly when I'm very familiar with and I particularly enjoy is the stop and go function with active collision avoidance and steering assistance. And what you have here, up to 130 miles per hour, is the ability on autobahns or on highways where the car will steer away from accidents. It will actually make the environment much safer. But from a regulatory point of view, of course, you still, from time to time, have to put your hands back on the wheel. But you can slip your sunglasses on and the car will keep going and keep it safe. A few seconds later, you do have to put your hands back on the wheel. This is a step in that direction. Now what you will also see, and here we are in the US launch, and uh, there are international journalists coming here as well, but outside of the US, we will also have a self-parking facility. Now we've had parking assistance in previous generations. But what you have now is the ability to pull up in front of your garage, jump out of the car, press the key, and the car will park itself in the garage for you. Now, in the US, we're still seeking regulatory approval for this, but at launch, it will be available in other markets around the world. And connected drive also, of course, moves into the digital interface that people want. Now, some people want a mobile office. Some people want a peaceful sanctuary. Some people want the ability on a long haul journey to be able to do the things and see the things and enjoy the things that they do in their everyday life. You will see in the rear of this car a tablet which controls all the functions of the car so you can use it. So we have moved here, of course, from voice now you have touch control and the tablet in the rear, and touch control on the screen in the front. And in addition to that, for a world first, we've introduced gesture control. Now gesture control allows you to use a number of gestures, six of them, in order to change the entertainment system, increase the volume, reduce the volume, accept a phone call, reject the phone call, and even a gesture, which is a two-fingered one in that direction, interesting, which you can program. And that could be, take me home. And instantly, your navigation will put your home address in and you'll be on your way. Gesture control has never been done before. It is another step, another chance, another way of communicating with your vehicle. And you'll get the chance to experience that tomorrow. Now, as I came through the door there, you'll see I was in the executive lounge. The executive lounge is, again, another big step forward in the luxury car segment. By far the benchmark in the segment, so you are in a business environment with your feet up, reclined in the seat, and this, again, you will see when you experience the vehicle tomorrow. Another big first. Materials, trims, all of that individualization are all in the rear as well as the front of this vehicle. We are very excited about this car, ladies and gentlemen. We have invested very heavily. We are absolutely convinced it will be a truly benchmark product in every respect. At the same time, it is everything you would expect from a BMW as well. And tomorrow, you will get the chance to drive it in many, many circumstances. And I really look forward meeting some of you, talking to you tonight, and of course, enjoying some driving with you tomorrow. And with that,
be a great pleasure to hand over to Karim, who will take us through many of the design highlights of this magnificent event. Thank you very much.